What do you need to know for this new moon that we are having in Virgo? We have the Emperor coming out straight away. We have a lot of cards flipped up here. Never mind, I have the deck upside down. <laughs> we have the Emperor coming up. We have the new moon in Virgo tonight at 6.55 Pacific time on September the 2nd. So it may be a little bit later for you. Um, yeah, you're, you're gonna be seeing some ignition. Ignition in your life is what I'm sensing. Like you've created this You've created a spark and now it is turning into a fire, which I absolutely love. We have five of swords in reverse. So that deceptive energy is going away. Um, you're starting to really see your past clearly. With the two of wands though, you may still have those remnants of what's closing out, showing up in your 3D world and reality. That's okay with the nine of cups and the king of wands. So wish fulfillment is is happening um it's like you've been waiting you've been waiting at the campsite trying to figure out how to spark this fire how to kind of create this and keep life going in the positive direction see this king of wands it's like he's been sitting there since leo season last month wondering when he's gonna get his rewards. And now you're gonna actually start to see them because this Five of Swords, it had come out in reverse, is giving you the indication that that self-defeat energy, deceit, secrecy, um, sabotage, that is all going away. That's very positive for you. We have the Empress and the High Priestess and we have the Emperor. Love that for the new Jarakana that's coming out. So what you've been intuitively feeling is it's going to start to show up like the amount of power I am sensing in your energy. For those of you that are in alignment, 1333 on my clock, 333, that's like a manifestation number. Whatever you're feeling like this high priestess energy is like, I'm the fucking shit. Like I am the shit and nobody can tell me otherwise. This is the sort of energy that I'm feeling for a lot of you. Where you're going to start to have more of an indication of what you've come here to achieve. And you've had some some ideas, some thoughts about that. You've had confirmation about it. You've already been living a path of purpose. Many of you have, but you're now you're now gonna see a new part of your life path unfold in front of you. And your guides are so excited to show you it. Like I see them kind of getting ready to give you this present, and they're like, "Oh man, they have no idea what's in here because." They didn't want to show you. They didn't want you to try to figure out how you were going to do that, how you were going to achieve that. They didn't want you to be in the mindset of, okay, well, if that's meant to be about me, like, what do I need to learn? How do I need to grow? Because it's going to be so unexpected. And the amount of respect I see you receiving from this, the amount of accolades, the amount of power, not negatively, empowerment, but also, like, the amount of resonance people are going to have with you and how far your voice and your talents and actions are going to go. Oh, it's going to be miraculous. And it's going to be something you did not expect. So the visions you're having are definitely coming true. You're meant to be in this spotlight for something that is so natural to you, but mainly because it's a, a huge part of your experience. Your vulnerability is really taking you to reap the rewards. And I've been talking about this for the last couple of weeks, as well as a lot of other readers of like karma, karma is being rebalanced. And for those that are meant to reap positive rewards, it's coming for you. What card is this? Temperance by Sagittarius season. You've been very patient. And for some, it could be relationship wise too. This is temperance about eight of wands and the devil. So for some of you, this reading is timeless. So whenever you watch it, right, it doesn't mean it has to be at the new moon or during the new moon in Virgo. But for some of you, it may be a couple of months. It may be that things start to transpire closer to the end of the year. But this is something that they want you to use. Don't use this reading as like confirmation. They want you to use that. We have a lot of major arcana here, basically the same amount as minor, if not more. Um, they don't want you to be stuck in your emotions illusion about this they don't want you to get back into the upright five of swords energy which is 
how am I going to do it? How am I going to do it? How am I going to do it? The universe just, just, they don't want you to think about the how. They just want you to focus on what you want to do. Continue to just be who you are. Shine your light the way you're doing it. It's going to be super positive for you because things are manifesting. It's just four of wands. Things are going to be showing up in your life. And this package, it's like your guides, your ancestors, a higher self of, let's say, a significant other if you're single, like, their guides, like, they're all kind of fighting and like, oh, no, I want to give this to them first. No, I want to give this to them first. Like, they're trying to figure out the right order to do things. They're not fighting in a negative way, but everybody up there is so eager to bring your manifestations and, and like, basically ground them and plant them in the 3D that they're, the delay is also, yeah, them trying to figure out the order, like I said. So one piece of closing guidance here. Oh, I love this energy. One piece of closing guidance for the collective that's resonating. That's too many. One piece of closing guidance here. The Empress. Stay in your power. Stay in your truth. You are the truth. At times, you try to fight your truth and authenticity. Your, your authenticity, your sovereignty, your autonomy is getting you so far. Is getting you so, so far that your guides want to congratulate you in advance. Get ready. Get ready. For this juncture get ready for the turning point of your life from now to the end of the year all right i hope this resonated if you're here for the first week of september you can get my q4 reading which is predictions from september to december a two-page written reading with a two-week turnaround time you can get it via the link in my bio if you want to book a coaching call you can do that there too and i'll catch you guys later bye